When it comes to evaluation for mm -hmm. recruits, whether high school or transfer portal, ultimately you make a lot of the final decisions on who, who you're taking on defense. What, how do you balance um, you know, high production on film with a player that may not be as productive but has all the intangibles, has the long arms, could run really yeah. well, but like he's not performing super well? How do you balance that trade-off when you're taking players? I'll tell you what, it's a lot easier to do in the NFL than it is in college. Yeah. You know, when you're evaluating in college kids, they're – more prepared they're more developed mm -hmm. you know at the end of the day there's some guys you develop but a lot of guys you just plug and play yeah. when you're evaluating these high school kids you really have to look at okay take away the rest of the film let's look at that individual how can that individual help us because a kid might have crazy stats but yeah. who's he playing against how is he being used in this scheme mm -hmm. versus a kid who's being used completely different not being in a position to make those plays but yeah. five six years down the road he might be a better player yeah so um you know there's a lot of you have to project, there's a lot of development and um, mm -hmm. that's really been the biggest change for me coming from the NFL to college is really the evaluations. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything when you watch, when you turn a player's film on that you mm -hmm. look for right away to say like this guy can play on our defense? Just effort and just ultra competitiveness. You know, mm -hmm. I, I used to say I only want guys who love ball mm -hmm. and I've just coached enough guys in the NFL that, you know, I don't know if they love football, but they love competing. Compete, yeah. and it doesn't matter what they're doing, they're just ultra competitive. So mm -hmm. I just want guys who play hard and compete. Real quick, before we get back to the podcast, I gotta tell you guys about our new sponsor, Ekron Athletics, man. Ekron is one of my favorite products I've ever tried. One of my favorite sponsors of this podcast. Their new percussion massager is elite. The Castrell Percussion Massager just launched and it is their best massage gun yet and I've tried a lot of these guns. There are several upgrades over their previous guns which were already considered among the best available. This massager is extremely powerful and it gives a deep tissue massage. Its angled handle design makes it easier to get to more areas and the scrolling wheel makes it easy to adjust while you're using it. It has six speeds and six attachments so you can really tailor it to your needs and to your muscle group you're targeting. I wish I had this when I was playing. I probably would have avoided some injuries, been more ready to play on game day and recovered faster. Best part, I have a promo code for all of you to try Ekron and their new massage gun. Use promo code NEXTUP for 25% off all orders on Ekron Athletics. That's promo code NEXTUP for 25% off all orders. And guys, supporting our sponsors helps me a ton. So go support Ekron Athletics. Use that promo code NEXTUP for 25% off your orders. What's uh, your recruiting pitch for anyone to come play on defense here? You guys have been crushing this class you know, mm -hmm. in, the, in the recruiting trail. What, what, do you, what are you saying to high school recruits? You know, our staff, I feel like, I feel like we don't try to pitch anything. You know, we try mm -hmm. to be ourselves. We want the players to get a feel for who we are as in people. Mm -hmm. And when we get them here in this in building, we, we want to show them what we're doing on defense. Because I do yeah. think what we're doing on defense from a schematic standpoint, from a culture standpoint, is a little bit different than the other schools that they're talking to. 